All right, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. My name is still Tim, and today we're gonna to talk about the relationship between your PAS, the cadence sensor that we use on all of our bikes, and the gears in which you can change while you're riding. So, uh, as I just mentioned, we use a cadence sensor, not a torque sensor. Um, torque sensors typically are used for mid-drive motors, whereas our bikes are rear-drive motors. So there we go, we are using a cadence sensor. What that cadence sensor does is it senses the rhythm and frequency in which you're pedaling to either add or to complement your pedal stroke based on what gear you're in. As you shift through the gears, you'll notice that the PAS system will react in such a way to complement that pedal stroke. What you may not know is that all of the settings in the display are customizable for the PAS. If you find yourself if you find yourself wanting either a different amount of assist per assist mode, or you want to turn it off altogether or anything in between, we can email you a copy of the user manual for the display and walk you through the steps necessary to change those settings. The gears that you're using while you're riding don't necessarily directly affect how much boost you're given based on the setting of the PAS. As you change gears, what you're doing is changing the amount of input that you're giving the system, but the system may not react to it. In those cases, we want you to either give us a call or shoot us an email. We can give you a copy of the, of the manual to change those settings. Uh, we can also make recommendations for how to change those settings and where that's going to make, make the most amount of sense to you. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another Tip Tuesday. We'll see you again next week.